What is going on LEGO investors? So today we're going to talk about a set that I absolutely believe in that I think will do really really well in retirement. So this set is the LEGO Harry Potter Hedwig, item number 75979. So I'm sure you're a little confused because I constantly say on this channel that Harry Potter is a bad theme to invest in. Yes, I have to keep saying that so people get out of the mindset that a lot of older YouTubers and investors just ultimately believe in the Harry Potter theme, but it does not do well anymore. In the past, it did, but now it's just, it's a terrible set to invest in. You're going you're gonna to struggle to earn a profit on a lot of your sets. But in my videos, as I've been saying, there is one to two sets each year that Harry Potter puts out, or that Lego puts out, that does really well. And I think the Lego Harry Potter Hedwig is an absolute winner. I knew it was a winner from when I saw it, and a ton of investors agree. Their YouTube is just absolutely flooded with videos about how great this set is and how it's a good investment. So we've got an issue because this set was supposed to retire in 2022. So now a little backstory. I've got about 118 of these sets and honestly I wish I had like 200 to 250 because I think it's going to do pretty decent. And when I say decent, I mean a potential 20 to $40 profit. A $40 profit would be double, so that would be a grand slam in my book. And I think this set is a clear winner simply for the fact that it's a great design and Hedwig is loved by all. I mean, Hedwig is probably the most popular anim animal in the Harry Potter theme. Yeah, I know there's other dragons and we got Aragog. I believe that's how you say it, Aragorg, or however, the spider, but Hedwig is loved. And everyone typically loves owls, especially snowy owls. They're just, they're absolutely great. And this build is a great, great display piece. So I spent my 2022 buying, or I should say going out to Barnes and Nobles every day and buying, well, I should say every week and buying as many sets as I possibly could. And if you're not familiar, this is only available at the Lego store and Barnes and Noble. And that is a unique set. And that's what I love investing in unique sets. So this one gives it a one up, but they did extend it another year, I think because it was so popular, but I also believe because they had a ton of inventory left over. I think that Barnes and Noble just wasn't selling them as fast as they wanted to so they had to extend it another year. We won't ever know the official reason why but I think they just overproduced the set. But regardless even if they overproduced it I still think this set will do potentially $20 or maybe $40 which would then double your money for a sale price of $80. So a little bit about this set Came out 2020, it was supposed to retire at the end of 2022, but they extended the year, 630 pieces, with, with a price per piece of six cents. That is phenomenal. So I've been saying in all my videos that I mentioned Hedwig, that this is the clear winner because it's a great display piece and it's accurately priced. So if you look at all the other Harry Potter sets that are out, they're just way, way overpriced. But Barnes & Noble kept it or Lego kept it at a great, great price of $39.99. And since it's at Barnes & Noble, and you, if you got the membership, you can get 10% off. So it's even less than that. If you're not, if you're not aware of that, you should sign up for it because you could potentially save a ton of money. And yeah, $39.99, absolutely solid. It comes with one minifigure, which is unique. So I'm, I am glad when they make sets like this and they include a proper unique minifigure. This is Harry Potter's buddy, his pet, whatever you want to call him. So I'm glad that they gave a unique Harry Potter. I'm glad it wasn't like Ron or Hermione. I, I hate sets that like Luke Skywalker's uh, X-Wing and they don't include a unique Luke Skywalker. I think when Lego does that, it's an ultimate fail. And that this one use, is unique, it's pretty good, but 
like I always say in all my videos, Harry Potter figures aren't worth anything. You should not be investing in any set for a figure. Yeah, there's always that one-off that will go crazy. That always happens, but it's too risky. You get the same repeat figures in all the sets, and that's why the set, or the minifigures, ultimately just aren't, aren't worth anything. So this is a unique minifigure, and it's only worth three bucks. I think with how much is produced, it's going to stay very, very low. I don't see that going up much in price in the future. It might bump up a little bit, but don't even factor in the minifig for this set. It is all Hedwig. The display of this set is phenomenal. And let's take a look at how it's been doing compared to Fox. So if you're not familiar with Fox, Fox is another set like this that came out and is retired and has been doing pretty well. A lot of people think Fox, which is item number 76394, would ultimately do better than Hedwig because it had a shorter shelf life. Now this was a Target exclusive. Again, Target exclusives we love. I can't emphasize that enough on this channel. I do really, really well with Target exclusives. So this set is only at Target and the Lego store. And its retail price was $40. So sadly, I was not able to buy a bunch of these. I think I got maybe like 30 to 40. And Target did something weird. They raised the price, which I can't believe they did not get sued on for some odd reason. But it was $40 in store. Nobody bought it. And then near, when it started to retire, it started selling out. And then Target jacked the price up to, I think it was $49.99. And it was just a hard buy at that. I did buy, I think, 10, which again brought me up to like 30 or 40 sets. And I wish I would have got like 100 of these, honestly. Because once a Hedwig retires, I think people are going to want this set with it. And the same thing. Since this one's retired, everyone's going to want Hedwig. And I do believe that Hedwig is a better display piece. But a lot of people believe Fox will be a better investment because of the shorter sh shelf life, which equates to less sets overall. So Fox might win in the end, but I think regardless, Harry Potter, uh, Hedwig will do at least a potential for $80 one day. It could take one to four years, given how much supply is out, but I, I think there's a huge potential for you to double your money. And if it goes beyond that, absolutely wonderful. But it, we have to see how it all plays out once it retires and if Fox goes up a little and people want to start buying more of the Hedwigs on eBay, you know, we'll have to we'll have to do a follow-up video to see how, how well it does. So this Fox came out with one minifigure, which is unique, and Dumbledore. Obviously, I'm glad that they they did the same thing. They chose the appropriate character and made it unique. I can't I can't say enough. How much I hate when Lego includes a set, like does a, a nice set and doesn't have the proper unique minifigure. It's a win for them. Sometimes they just get lazy and greedy. But this one's retired. This one's about to retire. So let's see how they're doing on eBay. So we've got Hedwig right now. And this, when you look at this, this is a really, really good sign. I cannot emphasize this enough. When you see sets selling for how much they're selling in stores, that's a really good sign because once it retires we're gonna see that slowly creep up to 55 then 57 and then $60 and eventually we're gonna hit the $80 I thoroughly believe that you know hey maybe they might come out with this set again in two years there's always that risk but I don't think they will I honestly think that these sets have Hedwig has done well Fox has done well, but the Hungarian Horntail has been doing terrible, which I'll do another video on that really, really soon. So I don't think, I would be surprised if we get more Hungarian or more dragons similar to this. I think maybe if they did the spider, which is Aragog or Aragorn, however you say it, uh, I think then that set will do really well. But dragons so far have just kind of flopped and if it retired this year it would have done well but again I'll make a video on that soon 
So let's go back to this. We're at 53, free shipping, 44, 30 ship, 36 plus 15 shipping, 55 plus 11 shipping, 49. So we're at 50 bucks and it's not even retired yet. And it's still available in store. That is, I, I, there's, I can't give you any more evidence. Like that is phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal for a set to be doing this well and it's still being available. So like I said, I wish I would have bought at least 200 to 250 of these. I wish I had spare money because I would be trying to buy as many as I could right now. And again, not financial advice, but we've got 44, 32 plus 12. These are all really, really good numbers that I absolutely love. So somebody is trying to do combine them together and that's how you earn money. I'm, I'm absolutely going to come, uh, put together the Fox and the Hedwig once Hedwig retires after a little while to get the most money I can possibly get out of both. And it'll be a little early for Hedwig, but I bought enough to where I'm comfortable to do maybe 20 sets the first year in retirement. Maybe the next set I'll do next year. I'll do another 20 set. And then after that, I'll probably have no more Fox left. And then I'll just sell, start selling that headwigs individually, hopefully for $80 or more. There's a really good chance we could go above 80 fairly fast, but we have to see once it retires because we've got 109 sold right now, which is fairly decent, especially when you're factoring in the price of it. We've got 229 listed. So once it retires, I would bet we hit that around maybe 450 listed to maybe 500 so there's going to be a massive influx but the the price has been holding strong since it came out so i think whatever the market gets will absorb it nicely and like i said it might take a couple years but regardless we're seeing good numbers before retirement so let's look at how well fox has been doing so We've got 35 plus 13, pretty bad. 64, 72, 47 plus 9. So Fox, people that sell it on eBay have not been earning much, much profit, depending on what they got it at. Maybe they got it when it was on sale at Lego for a bit, little bit less, so maybe they might be clearing 15 to 20 bucks. But Fox ain't doing that great. It's doing okay. It's doing, it's doing okay, but... Not not as well as Hedwig, in my opinion. And let's see how Hedwig is doing on Amazon right now. So Hedwig has all, or Fox is on Am, uh, Amazon for 87. And let's see if we can uh, see what Hedwig's at right now, because Hedwig has always been at a really decent price on Amazon. And oh, oh, there it is. Hold on. Let's go down here. Got Hedwig right here. And all buying options. So let's see what price we got it at. So we got it at 54, 54. So it looks like people had it listed for 72, but they dropped the price probably wasn't because it wasn't selling. But still, the fact that it's selling for more than it is in the store is a really, really good sign. And I think we're going to see these slowly disappear. All this inventory will get bought and we'll eventually start creeping up. But keep in mind, there's 124 sellers right now of this. So you're competing with a lot. So there, the risk is always there. And it's always risky with Harry Potter. I cannot emphasize that enough. But I think this is the ultimate winner for this year for the Harry Potter set. We'll have to see next year. I will keep doing follow-up videos, but I absolutely love this set. Like I said, I've got 118 of these and I wish I had more. Do you think I made a mistake by getting that many? Or do you think this is gonna be a winner? I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this set. It, it really does help the community when you comment down below. So as always, do your own research. Have some fun, make some money.
video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.